Hello, this is Ho from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can create a vast array of books using this free add-on from Oliver. Ooh, I think it's pronounced Weisbarth. I think that's German. Uh, with this free add-on, which is the book generator, and it works really great. Uh, now there are two versions, one for 2.7 which you can click on this link and download it from there. And the one from 2.8, which is click on this button to download it, it from this uh, actual, or through this actual button. So we're gonna close that out. And this is the usual process. Once you've uh, downloaded it onto your computer, go to edit, <coughs> excuse me, preferences. Uh, click on install and then navigate where you've installed it on your system. Uh, click on install that on and then once that's done you're going to, let me see, let's type in the add-on. I'll put a check in the box and activate it. And the good thing about this is that it comes with materials that I'll show you how to uh, use the materials for the books themselves. Now Blender it has its own book generator, but it's not good just in general. Let me show you what I mean. Let's delete this cube here. Do Shift A, Mesh Plane. To activate Blender's uh, built in book generator, go to, it's through Archimesh, so go to Edit. If it's not activated, you have to activate Archimesh. Let me type that in Archimesh, and you see it right there. Let me see, and yeah, it's right there. Then to have the books generated, Shift A. I'm just showing the difference um, when it comes to Blender's native um, book generator and this free add-on, Archimesh. And you click on, let me see. Uh, you have to click on anything like that, or is it already here? Let me go to the side tab. There is Archimesh. You can see that it has an option here that says books. So you can click on that. These are the books that the native Blender add-on provides. And there aren't any variations to it. You can't do anything with it. It just comes like this with no textures, no variation. It just looks like a bunch of triangles or rectangles, I mean, just kind of put together. So that's how Blender's native book generator looks. We're going to go to this add-on. Let me start a new scene here. It's my cell phone ringing there. And once you've installed it and you put a check in the box, it's over in the tool panel, and it's right down here. We're going to delete this cube. We don't want to use that. Now, once you first open it up, without having a plane or anything in your scene, all this is going to be grayed out. You have to have a plane in it. So press Shift-A, Mesh Plane. And it's really, really simple, really straightforward. If you want the books to uh, pretty much be stacked end-to-end uh, -end across, click on Add Shelf. You click once, and then you drag, and click again, left-click. And those are your books. And that they look like books. They have the, the spine here, which makes it look great. If you want your books to be stacked up, but let's let's deal with this first. Look at the parameters for this. <coughs> Excuse me. You can adjust the height with this slider. Adjust the randomness of the books with this slider. Uh, the book depth can be adjusted with that slider. Make some deeper. Um, let me see. The width can be adjusted also. Thick books or thin books. And if you want to have the uh, the stack of books, you just click on this icon, Add Stack. Left click, left click again, and to pull up. You see that do it? Oh, that was strange. That's never happened before. You can delete uh, stacks too. Let's delete that one. Left click on that. Let's do it again. Add Stack. Left click there. Drag up. There we go. And those are your stack of books. And 
once again you have that variation they're not all the same like we saw in the native version of the book generator for blender they're all different and they all have spines and covers now to add textures uh, to your books you have to append a file into the scene and if you go back to that website that we went to to download the add-on you scroll down a little bit let me see if the it should be here the texture should be here you see well, the textures aren't here they should be somewhere in this in this link here but I have the appended file for the textures let me scroll down a little bit more okay okay I don't see the textures here but uh, I've got the link to the textures I'll leave that in the uh, link below the, below the video itself and once you've downloaded the uh, the textures what I did was that I put them all in the same place this is the uh, add-on for 2.8 this is the one for 2.7 and this is the texture file that I that you need to have uh, textures applied to your books and when you do that you have to go to to add the textures you just click on whatever slot you want whether it's the shelf or the stack whatever version whatever stack you want to add the textures to let's click on, on the uh, shelf first which would be this one and let's go to our a different viewport view which would be the shading viewport for Eevee so you can see what the textures will look like when they're applied to our books let's turn this around let me change the lighting make it a little bit brighter mm, that's that's good let me see make sure it's on okay there we go and then to append a file go to file and you click on append and you navigate to where you save that blend file because it's a blend file click on that and then you click on book generator click on append and then you have these uh, set of files here and click on material append again and left click and drag your mouse to select these two because this would be the cover of the books and this would be the paper texture which would be on the inside of the books and click on append then once you've done that to apply those textures to the books you scroll down to these two slots one says cover material the other one says page material left click in here and click on book cover generator and just give it a few minutes it's just processing the files or the textures to apply to the books and there you go I actually applied it to both which is time saving and then you go to your next slot through the page material left click in there and click on book gen pages and there you go and this is a really cool free add-on that like I said is free you can use it for whatever project that you want in blender you have all these options here for the shelf to and for the stack separate options which is also great you can change the scale of your stack or your shelf I mean which would be the uh, row of books the C which would be the uh, randomness of it uh, alignments for the four page the four edge which I don't know what that is but that's interesting and the same thing with the stack so you have all these options for making variations to the shelf of books and to the stack of books and so once again this is uh, today's blender quick tip and it's a really cool add-on called the book generator and thank the guy who uh, created it and given it to us to use for free like I said before I'll, I'll leave a link for the materials uh, below this video so you can download the add-on and the materials also and you know use it at your, as, as you would like once again thank you guys who have uh, been watching the video and I help, hope it was helpful for you have been watching uh, thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.